So I decided to take a trip to the National Video Game Museum in my local Sheffield. It's been a couple of years since I've been so let's take a look and see what's new. They definitely have some cool stuff on display here such as this Magnavox Odyssey from way back in 1972. They also have the infamous Power Glove. This definitely wasn't here last time. They currently have a display dedicated to Masayuki Yumira, lead designer of the Nintendo Entertainment System and Super Nintendo. I was actually lucky enough to meet him here in 2020 when he gave a talk about Japanese video game culture so that's actually a special memory for me. It's not just consoles too, they also have some cool home computer stuff on display like Crisp Live's Amiga 4000. Piracy, the dark side of gaming. Whilst here I saw this Casio Lupe along with a Nintendo Virtual Boy. The Lupe is interesting in the fact that all the marketing was aimed at females. As well as having some retro development kits, they have this Doom 2 Master Gold Disc which I think is pretty cool. There is also a nice selection of free to play arcade classics too. So much about the National Video Game Museum is about education and the preservation of game history and they often run these fun educational workshops.